Hello Capsulea, my name is Gildy and welcome to EVE Online. So you got into Lose Gashafen that I talked about previously, but it's not for you. Either you can't find a quiet enough system, you don't have the luck for gas sites in Losek, you don't want to keep running around to one faraway spot to get the good gas, or you just got bored of it and want to look for another type of content that is similar, but won't drop your ISK per hour drastically. Don't worry, I'm here to help. First, a quick recap. As an alpha, your ISK per hour while mining is quite limited. I will put the summary of what you can get on the screen right now, for both mining ore and halving gas in Losec. This breakdown is for an alpha character that is running at max mining skills. But there is one more easily accessible place where gas is abundant and content is where you want it. It is the scary but also often safer wormhole space. Here is a quick breakdown of the isk per hour of halving gas available there. As you can see, the gas is not horrible compared to Losek one and is still way better than mining ores. So, how do you get around to finding some wormhole gas? Setup is identical to the one for Losek gas harvesting, so if you haven't trained into it yet, get gas cloud harvesting to level 2 and mining frigate to level 4 for best results. Gas Cloud Harvesting Skillbook costs 39 million in the skill window, or in Jita, 34.7 million at the time of this recording. But you can easily earn that back with a little bit of halving, and the skills you get stay on the character forever. Ships to use are a trusty venture, which you can use to scan the sites and half, or if you are having a hard time scanning down wormholes or sites in them, grab a T1 exploration frigate, which will make it way easier thanks to the ship bonuses. Links to the example ship fittings will be in the video description. Now, what to look for and where to look for it. Fullerite gas spawns in any wormhole. There is only two sites that are wormhole class limited. Instrumental and Vital Core Reservoirs. Those two can spawn only in class 5, 6 and shattered wormholes. The two sites have the C320 and C540 gas, which is quite good, but what you will be looking at most of the time is the rest of it. Because access to those high-end wormholes from known space is rare, and they are usually inhabited, meaning that the chance of you being hunted there are bigger. Wormholes spawn as cosmic signatures all over known space get your probes out and simply start scanning. If you find one, you usually will be looking for class 1 through 3, so unknown parts of space, beginning to decay and not disrupted mass-wise when you look at the details of the wormhole itself. This ensures you will not run into an issue of getting trapped inside. For a full breakdown of what exactly each of the lines in the wormhole description mean, check out my wormhole exploration playlist. Link to it will pop up on the screen right now. If you need any help with scanning and such, you can also check my Exploration 101, where all basics of what explorers should know are covered as well. If the wormhole you found is to your liking, bookmark the wormhole itself, so you can warp to it directly later on and hop in. On the other side, first of all, drop a bookmark on the same wormhole, so you don't get stranded looking for an exit and get scanning. Obviously, we are looking for gas sites, but if you are in an exploration frigate, you can also run any pirate relic sites you find there, doing a more full clear of the wormhole itself. One gas site not to go into with your little exploration setup is the Ordinary Perimeter Reservoir. It is the only wormhole gas site that starts with turrets, which will blow you up if you warp in. The rest of the gas sites will spawn sleepers, but only around 15 to 20 minutes after you get into the site and trigger them, so you can do what is called ninja huffing and collect all the gas you can in that time before they spawn. So, if you find gas sites in wormholes, unless you are already in your venture, do not warp to them to not trigger the spawns. Before warping, if you want to check which gas is present in a site and which is more expensive, you can pull up this EVE wiki page with all gas sites in the game and then pull the names of the gas into an appraisal tool like Janus. Link to both will be in the video description. 
That is because prices of materials keep changing depending on the supply and demand, so the ISCA where I presented before might be a little bit different every day. Lastly, let's go through some workplace safety tips to make this huffing experience more enjoyable. First of all, when you enter a wormhole system, drop its name into zkillboard.com. This way you can check if there was any recent hunting, if there is maybe some corporation that keeps hunting there constantly. Both of those are bad signs, as they might mean that there is still someone sitting there waiting for prey, or that the wormhole is inhabited and locals will drive you out. Opening system map and looking for stations is also a good indicator to see if someone lives in a wormhole. Secondly, wormholes are null security systems. This means that bubbles can be used and some hunters will drop in a site with an interdictor and drop a bubble, hoping to catch a huffing ship. To prevent that, I usually move away from the warping point, around 30 km to be safe, just in case I would not see an interdictor coming in. He can get in, drop the bubble, and I still have the time to warp off and leave him behind. In general, keep away from the center of the site and center of the clouds themselves. If someone has the site bookmarked together with the clouds, you can keep away from those so they don't drop on top of you and tackle you by warping to their bookmarked clouds. Clouds in the wormhole sites are massive compared to the low sec ones, which means you can use them to your advantage because anyone trying to get to you will get decloed by them. Lastly, I mentioned ninja huffing. You can stay in the site, grab the gas in 20 minutes and warp off the moment sleepers arrive. There are two ways of dealing with them. One, you can ask a friend to clear them for you, or if you got some combat skills, try to do it yourself. I will leave a caracal fitting in the video description that should be able to deal with barren, minor, sizable and token reservoir sites. Simply warp in at your missile optimal range and start blasting them. Collect the blue loot that drops from the sleepers because you can sell it to NPC by orders back in known space. And then get back there and half all the gas by yourself. Another way to deal with sleepers is to wait them out. If you trigger the site before downtime and half till sleepers spawn, after downtime they will be gone. Of course, when you get into the site you will start the timer again and be able to go through another cycle. And sometimes sites break and won't respawn sleepers at all, leaving you with isk in cloud form. If you enjoyed this video, share it with a corp mate that might need it, leave a like and subscribe to see my future uploads. If you are interested in what I will talk about next, my videos go up every Sunday. And if we never see each other in space again, Capsulia, fly safe.